Since the dawn of time, mastering fire has been one of the most important things that human beings have ever accomplished. Now we can do it with just two fast noise nodes and two displaced nodes. Now that's progress. Right click in your media pool, go to new fusion composition, hit create, and then double click on that comp to jump into it. I'm gonna go into mine that exists already. So we can hit shift space bar, type in FAS, fast noise. This is going to be the base of our effect. Let's press one to preview that. All right. So I'm going to click on color, zoom in here so we can see all the great details. And I'm going to switch this from uni to radial and move the start and end points. So I'm going to click this arrow here, drop this down so I could get colors quickly from white to yellow to red and then black to add a little bit extra detail i could click in this orange area here and shift this around a bit to get the look that i want if i want more of an intense bright in the middle i can make it more yellow or more red and shift these sliders around now let's click on the noise tab and start adding detail in here by literally dragging the detail slider up i'll adjust the scale Let's take the contrast and adjust that a bit here. Let's take the brightness, adjust that. All right, so we're getting close here. Now we might need to come back into our colors and fine tune this a bit here. It's getting a little bright. Let's bring some of these down one here. Maybe leave that as it is, adjust the red. And I'm gonna bring this black in a little bit and add one more over here. Instead of this being completely black, I'll go to red and make it a very, very dark red, just so we have a little bit of a, a smoky type background. And as we get this blocked out, we could start making some more refined adjustments here, take the detail, Maybe this needs to come down a little bit contrast also let's bring this down a bit brightness maybe up a little bit so we're getting some nicer fall off here and back to the colors i just want a little bit more of this yellow and bright orange all right i'll take this orange bring it up yeah we're getting close here maybe this red up a little bit this yellow is a little on the green side so i'm going to bring the slider for the hue up just a tad now i want this thing moving so i'm going to click on noise right click on center choose expression and where it says this 0.5 over here type in time divided by let's say 120 and give that a preview to see what it looks like all right so if you want the most basic fire possible you could just stop here but we definitely could add a little bit more detail i want another fast noise here so i'm gonna take this one press ctrl c deselect it press ctrl v up here hit the reset button to get the default settings back now let's set this one to the second viewer by pressing two let's click on this one press one for the first viewer i'm gonna go to color i don't like seeing the transparency grid so for color one let's bring this alpha all the way up Let's click on the noise tab. Maybe bring the detail up a little bit, not too far. Maybe take the brightness down. I wanna get some decent contrast in here. Add a very small amount of seethe in here. Now, what I wanna do is add a displace. Shift space bar, D-I-S-P. Here's our displace, press enter. I'm gonna do something a little different here. I'm gonna click and drag to attach and it attaches to this yellow input. I'm also gonna click and drag and add it to this green foreground. Let's press one to preview our displace. So not too much going on here. And another thing is we need to go into our fast noise and we want this also to be moving upwards like the fire. We'll go to noise, right click on center, go to expression. This one will do 0 0.5 here and type in time forward slash okay so it's moving at a similar speed but not the exact same speed so that'll give a little extra variety now let's take our refraction strength up we could adjust the offset too and if you see some weird stretched out distortion towards the edges of the frame your offset is probably going in the wrong direction so if that's the case just drag your offset the opposite way and now that looks a lot better i'm gonna drag light power up you'll see it doesn't do a lot but what it will do is kind of blend things together a bit and i'm also going to take the spread bring that up also kind of blending things when we have displace selected we have this little move widget i'm going to drag this down that's going to take the displace and displace it more in an upwards direction and let's give a little bit more room down here 
So what I want is another display. So I got one here, control C, deselect everything, control V. I'm gonna hit the reset button over here, drag this fast noise onto the displace, this output here onto this green here. And let's grab our media out because we got all our nodes in place. Click and drag this over here and we could press two to preview our media out. Select the displace and let's bring the refraction strength up here. I don't wanna go too far or else things are gonna get really stretched out. And and I could adjust the offset if I need to. We could see that the flames are undulating. What we could do is selecting our displace, find this little widget here and drag this down. Now you'll see the flames undulate more around the edges and less in the middle. And if you want more detail in that distortion, you could select fast noise and take the scale, bring it up and get a really stylized look like that. Or if you want less so, you could drag this in the other direction and it'll just be slightly wavy. Another fun thing to do is come back to your original fast noise and grab its gradient end if you want to create kind of an explosion coming out or just say you want the fire to be smaller or much bigger maybe you need it to cover the entire screen so take this end and bring it out you could also move this part here so this gives you a lot of fun ways to animate you can make this into a transition or maybe you just need fire from the side of the frame 